international trade is not easy. If it were, then people more and more would be doing it. Well, as I navigate through the process, mistakes are bound to happen. But to avoid a few of the missteps, I got to do some homework well before I got started. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about some areas where international trade experienced the most turbulences and how a blockchain technology based project, Digital Bureaucracy, can ease up those turbulence with efficiency. Well, focus on these trouble spots and the solutions and then you will be able to put yourself on the path to what we all crave, a glitch-free international trade experience. Well, first of all, there is the lack of knowledge on exchange rates. Well, if I don't know the exchange rates when trading internationally, I am exposed to potential currency fluctuations and are restricted when planning ahead or trying to get the best price. Well, digital bureaucracy will let me help to keep the track of all the exchange rates worldwide and thus keeping me many steps ahead always. Well, then there is another turbulence which is lousy relationship with custom officials. Well, I can never underestimate the importance of a good relationship with custom officials, transportation folks and custom brokers. And never I can assume that I know more than they do. Well, I am responsible for compliance with all US import and export laws. So I must get along with everyone and listen to what they have to say. Well, even if I hire a firm to carry out import-export procedures on my behalf, the bucks still stops me. So here, the digital bureaucracy encrypted files and message transfer system will allow me to keep in touch with the with all the important personals with great safety and secrecy thus keeping our relationship strong well there is another problem or turbulence which is being clueless about import restrictions or control on the product Import restrictions comprise of quotas, import licensing requirements, and so on. Importing goods that violate quota restrictions are or are unsafe could, uh, could be uh, and could end up costing me money in fines and penalties, and that will erode my profit. I have to be complying with both state and federal government import regulations and for that critical process, the digital bureaucracy automatic artificial intelligence system can help me track all the necessary regulations for every time and every place. Well, there is a failure to conform to packaging, marking, and language or localization laws. Well, what are the laws of the country I am entering? I have to consult with my transportation specialist and my customer and then compare notes. For example, I have to do labels on my product and have to be in the local language. Well, does those always have to be in the local language? How sturdy must the curtain be? What markings need to be on the outside of the curtains to comply with the laws? Is there any taboo 
to the number of the products packed in the box. Well, 8 chocolate bars versus 13, for instance. Well, the point is to leave no stone unturned with it comes to uh, when it comes to honing in on the details of my product movement so this complex situation can be made easy with the digital bureaucracy artificial intelligence well the dbc can help me process all this complex information with great ease well the unfamiliarity of intercom uh, in inco terms and how they affect the sale is also a vital problem well the inco terms are considered essential to use in contracts for the sale of goods internationally for example here I discuss preparing a performa invoice using one of the common terms CNF which means the cost and freight. I am responsible for paying the freight cost and collecting from my customer later. Well I must understand the cost and responsibilities that come with using a specific encoder. Well if I don't then it can lead to underpayment to me for instance on an export sale or overpayment to my supplier on an import it can also lead to customs problems including documentation that might be prepared incorrectly and I can reduce the risk of the sale of goods internationally by uh, negotiating effective trade terms but it would be more efficient if i use the digital bureaucracy automated system to transfer and uh, transfer the important documents through an encrypted and secure channel through the digital bureaucracy well then there is another problem that usually faced by the uh, import export officials which is bad record keeping well on my uh, all of the my all of my international transactions i must keep good records for as long as i keep the irs records from how i declare a good to termination of a transaction whether by email or some other means to the financing of a deal here the digital bureaucracy can also help to keep safe and precise and secure records of all the trade and transactions well whether you are working with a supplier or a customer you must follow up of import and export transactions and this is a very tiresome and complex bureaucratic work where the digital bureaucracy can make all the complexities go away so as a as an import and expert professional i can tell you that this great blockchain platform digital bureaucracy can really help me to get my life easier and of course if you master these common pitfalls or problems that i just talked about you will be on your way to a successful import export business